Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Louise! Lurk away! <laughs> My Kenny, how's it going? Ah, <laughs> uh, alright, so... Uh, we're gonna keep going with this. Um, and I put all my pencils in this little pouchy thing. Um, so if I could remember what I was using. Hey, Boots, how's it going? All right. So I think, well, sorry for the noise. We'll probably start with maybe this flower thing right here. Um, and they don't really all have to be the same colors. And we're still using the colors. Hey, Shani, 20 seconds. Let's see, so I think I was using Peach Puff and uh, some other purpley colors. Okay, so let's start with the Peach Puff. And we'll just jump right in. Let's see, move that out of the way. And just base it with this light pinky color. Hey, Lisa, how's it going? Hey, Shani, how's it going? Uh, let's see, rosy pink. Let's see, like so. And I think I used some medium orchid. I think maybe this was a color I tried that was too light. I think it was. Uh, let's try this grape. That's so much better. And then back in with the rosy pink. So how are you guys doing today? Let's get some on under here. Hey, Nanamo. Happy Friday. How's it going? And let's see the peach puff again. Get some in there too. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Let's see. Let's get those greens out. Now I got some here. Okay, so I think we'll start with... Let's see, was it brilliant green or spring green that we started with? Uh, let's start with the spring green. Just do a base. Let's see, let's just get it all the way down. <laughs> nice. What happened with your printer? I'm clearly uh, out of the loop there. Uh, this is the uh, Brilliant Green. This is a nice color. I love the bright greens. Mary's all about the dirty greens, and I'm all about the bright greens. And oh, let's see, Pale Green, which is our darkest color, ironically.
let's see here. Just get a little bit down in here. Hey, Mandy, how's it going? Uh, and then back in with the spring green, I think. Done forgotten what I used. Okie dokie, my candy. All right, like so. It looks, well, it looks green, so that's good. Hey, Louise. How's it going? Uh, let's see. What do we want to do? Maybe we'll do this flower here. And let's see. I don't remember what I used for that flower either. Uh, oh, I still have the flower colors over here. Yes. Okay. Light purple. I'm going to try to work a little bit quicker today than I did last time. And I'm going to baste a whole flower with this. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> here. Hey, Tammy, how's it going? Happy uh, Friday slash Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Louise. <sighs> See, like so. And then we will. Oh, I've forgotten the order. Um. Let's see what we got. We got violet and we got purplish red and we've got purplish blue. Uh, maybe we'll go in with the violet. Hey, Renee, how's it going? Oh, thank you. Apparently, I'm very into buildings now. Or this week. Let's see. Let's just kind of... Throw some in here. And in here. Uh, let's get this one. Get on the underside of this one, like so. So, do y'all have a good week? Did you get everything you wanted to get done? Well, done. I did not, as usual. I'm very behind on most things, really. Hey, Kathy, how's it going? <laughs> nice, Louise. Oh, sorry. 
Hey, Nina, how's it going? Happy Friday or Saturday for some. Oh, nice boots. I love me some good chicken nuggets. Oh, wow. What are you coloring, Nina? I'm Nelsie. I need to know. <laughs> nice, Louise. <laughs> you going to bed early. I also like going to bed early. I like getting up early, which is weird because when I was younger, I was the opposite. But now I like getting up early so I can get my stuff done or started early in the morning. If I don't get started early, I, I struggle all day. Let's see here. And I think this is supposed to be purple, I think. Oh, awesome, Nina. Let's see, let's go on with some purplish red. You swatching away, Renee? I like the swatching queen. <laughs> nice, Tammy. Man, I wish I could nap. I am not a good napper. I would love to be able to take a nice nap and then wake up fully refreshed. But oh no, I'll take a nap and I'll wake up wondering where all the time went. And my hair is, you know, and just crazy. And I uh, feel like I got an elephant on my head. And it don't work for me. Hey, Grace, how's it going? Let's see here. Like so. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not by myself, Kathy. We can be in the no nap corner. Yes, me too, Nina. Yes. Let's see. Let's just get some in here. Okay. I think I made it all the way around. Awesome, Grace. See, this is the purplish blue. I just want a little bit of this. 
in some places. Let's see here. Kind of work in the other way around. Whoops. Here, <clears throat> like so. Uh, I wouldn't even know where to begin guessing. Um, oh, oh, was it the uh, the the Korean, um, the draw you a lovely or something? The doll one, so that one that's my guess. Let's see here, like so. Let's get some in here. All right, there. Ah. Okie dokie, Louise. Please save me one. I have to admit that's probably um uh... oh 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 uh a momo girl book i'm so bad with uh knowing where the books you know come from i wouldn't even know what's um what's korean and what's not korean i mean i know some but you know there are so many different ones like so and like so and i think we'll probably do some greenery maybe then we'll start um another house okay like so and it's not showing up right i don't know what's up with that <clears throat> oh cool no wonder you're excited Um, okay, so let's get them, them, let's get them yellows out for the center. Um, um, da, da, da. Okay, so let's start with a canary yellow. Just cover the whole thing. Anybody else get anything exciting or new this week? Y'all know I'm nosy, I need to know. Um, autumn gold. What do you mean? You don't like fruit? <laughs> nice. Let's see here. And let's just get some on all of these. This is the bright orange yellow, by the way. Trying to keep up with saying what I'm using, but sometimes I forget. Oh, awesome, Grace. All right. I think um, I think I want something else in there. Let's go with some light ochre. I think I did this last time, too. Put some light ochre in here. Ah, 
Have a great night, Grace. Thank you so much for stopping in. Hey, Jamie, how's it going? Let's see, let's brush this off and then we'll go back in with the greens. Okie dokie, Renee. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, Louise. Did you remember this time, though? Let's just do these two um, squiggly things over here while we're at it. Right? All right, spring green. Here, like so, and I need my brush again. <laughs> Good job. Good job. If I'd known that you were going to forget, I totally would have reminded you, but I uh, probably would have forgotten, honestly. Guess I have the memory of a goldfish. Or uh, Dory. Hey, Alex, how's it going? Hey, how was uh, work been this week? You've been enjoying the, the job? Let's see, a spring grain again. I think, I'm on, blah, blah. I think I want some more of that dark green. I need to talk slower so I don't stumble over my words. Let's try this bottle green. I think I forgot to put this in. Hey, Ambient, how's it going? I see. That's pretty close. Awesome, Alex. That is always great to hear. I've been thinking about you with your new job this week. Let's see here. Okay. Um, so maybe we'll do this or this house. I don't know. I mean, I got to do them both at some point. Hey, Kim. How's it going? Uh... The new Hannah Carlson book, The Witches One. Um, um, I know a lot of people have gotten it off of Book Depository. Because um, uh, it's not out in the US yet. I am patiently waiting for it. Oh, they're doing good. Mary and Mama are doing good. Mary has gotten hooked on, um, oh, it's a new show. I don't know if it's new, new, but it's it's new to us. Um, it's called Sweet Magnolias or something or other. Um, and it seems pretty good. Kind of almost a little bit like One Tree Hill almost. It seems I haven't watched a whole lot of it. Just a little bit. Hey, Brian. How's it going? Let's see. Maybe we'll do, we'll do this house here. And we'll do it about the same colors. Maybe a little bit different. Um, so light gray. May do this a tiny bit different than the other one, but I want them to be somewhat the same. I want them to be like earthy tones. And I do currently have a color along going of, of more buildings from the new Rita Berman book. Uh, but the 
third part, I've done two parts, and the third and hopefully last part will be up tomorrow. It was supposed to go up today, but I didn't have time to do it all. But it will be up tomorrow, hopefully early. And the part from yesterday, which I guess technically it came up today, because it was after midnight. Um, that was also also late because I started uploading. Um, well, I started uploading and processing at eight o'clock last night for me. And when I went to bed at midnight, it was still processing. So I had to schedule it for 4 a.m. when I knew it was going to be done, most likely. See here. So, anyways, I just wanted to let you all know that it will be up tomorrow. Uh, let me see, what did I do with this here? Um, yes, I think they're probably available. It's, I think it should be available on that Bocus site. Um, I personally never used it because, um, I don't know if they ship here. I try to use mostly just Amazon. Um, uh, great. Um, I don't, I, I try to just. Me and Amazon, we're committed. We're, we're in a committed relationship. Let's see, like so. I think maybe I will throw in some type of dirty green. <clears throat> Um, I'm sorry, I was chatting away and I forgot to look at chat. I'm so sorry if you, um, if I, if I missed your comment, it was not on purpose. Let's see, like so. No, uh, Joanna Basper does not. And I think somebody asked her at some point if she was ever going to do a Halloween book, and she said no. I think I read it in her stories when she had that, you know, ask me questions and things. <laughs> nice, Nana. <laughs> Uh, let me try some olive yellow in here. Just to get a little bit different tint to it. But I think um I think I heard somebody say something about them being out of stock on book depository for um the witch's cottage book. But I don't know. Oh, awesome ambient. I love the coloring glove. I have uh, several. I have uh, four or five. I think I got two in here and two or three in the other room where I color mostly on my own time. Light gray. And they do, you know, um, um, sometimes they come apart a little bit uh, after a lot of wear. So I've had to switch some of mine out. But I mean, I guess it's like that with anything that you wear. 
at some point your pants are going to, you know, wear and tear. Um, I don't know, Jamie. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me see. Let me look through and see. Um, my favorite color in this set. I haven't had a time to, I had a time, had a chance even to um, try them all out. This is my first page with them and um, I haven't swatched them yet because y'all know me in swatching. But this pastel pink looks beautiful. So it's probably this one or any other pink ones. Oh gosh, yeah, I hope uh I hope she's all right. I did see her at Chels. My phone is a little wonky, so it keeps kicking me out. So I missed a lot of shells. Cause it keeps um it'll let me in for a while and then it's like um it uh disconnects from the internet. And I can't get into, like, anything uh, going in with a little bit of black. And all I get on YouTube is, like, a, a white screen. Or if I'm in a stream, it's like it just freezes. And I sit there, and I'm like, oh, nobody's talking, and she's not moving. And it's a phone. So it happens sometimes. I think I managed to stay in there for about an hour or so. <laughs> right? I know, y'all must be so shocked that I chose a pink. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Yeah, it's like a pinkish uh, purple. I did throw some purple in. Uh, let's go back in with some gray. Okay, like so, and a light gray again. Uh, let's see. Brush it off, and light gray. So I kind of like that greenish tint there. Hopefully it stays all right looking. Yes, chicken is in the oven. Love it. Love chicken. I had chicken for dinner too. Oh, awesome ambient. I love me some good daylight lamps. I've got two in here, one from each um, side so that it doesn't get too shadowy from one side. Let's see here. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Gosh, I have gone through so many lamps to get to like a um, 
the perfect one for me. Oof. And then I had some really good ones, but then they stopped working. And some of them you can't um, replace a light bulb in it. So that's kind of annoying. It's kind of like, you know, when it's when it stops working, it stops working. You can't get it working again. Uh, let's get some of that olive yellow on here. So y'all got any plans for the weekend? Hey, Zoe, how's it going? I am going to try to finish a couple of pages. I would like to start doing some halloween -y pages. <clears throat> I need to finish my color along. I'd like to do a misfit. Hey, Mona, how's it going? Yeah, me too. I love the daylight bulbs. They are definitely the best, I think. Let's see here. Definitely helps a lot to have like a, a daylight lamp or bulb. Uh, while you're coloring, because it just looks so much different in, in different light, if that makes any sense. Oh, nice, Nina. Oh, that sounds nice, Louise, too. Oh, I'm sorry, Zoe. Let's see here. Like so, and let's get some more up in here. Let's get a little bit just around here. Back in with the light gray. Like so. Not sure if I like that um, all of the yellow in there, but oh well. Let's get some of this black in here, just a tiny bit. Um, I don't know, uh, ambient, uh, I don't have, I don't have a whole lot of different watercolor pencils. I have some Albrecht Durs and they're nice. They're not as soft, definitely not as soft as the Supras are. Um... I don't know. I'm hoping somebody probably in the chat will know. They're usually pretty good about that. Let's 
Uh, let's see, gray. Get a little bit under the windows here. Um, yes, I've heard the museums are, are you know, supposed to be like the, the best, best. Hey, Amber, how's it going? Uh, I have, I think, two. <laughs> I got two open stock, and I've only used them once. Um... I think it I think I got um a cinnamon because I, I got it in my head that I wanted to do watercolor pencil uh portraits. Oh boy. Uh <laughs> so I think I used them that one time. It was a disaster. Um but I mean I could use them for different things. I could use them for you know foresty things or something. Um but yeah, I mean they uh dissolved really well it's just um user error and also i was trying to do a portrait which i probably should have gone, probably should have gone for something simpler okay i think that is as good as that part of that house is gonna get and it'll probably be the only house with a green tint to it Yeah, she probably did. She does a lot of reviews. Um, I know Shannon has also used them, some, uh, some on her channel. Uh, she does really, really well with them. She's done some, I think, mythographic pages with the museums. If I remember correctly. I didn't even know the Bruce Banner had watercolor pencils. How did I not know this? I do have some of the Arteza. I think I have the 72 Arteza watercolor pencils. And I have to be honest and say I haven't used them a whole lot. Um, they were nice. I just kind of forget that I have them, if that makes any sense. I know that's bad, but it happens sometimes. Kind of like with my pro color pencils too. Uh, they're really nice and I love them, but I always forget that I have them. We all have, you know, we all have our favorite stuff, I guess. <clears throat> oh, gosh. I'm glad he's good. Let's see, just a little bit of this olive yellow. I kind of feel like I have to keep going with it since um, since I already started. It would look weird if it wasn't on the whole house or a whole gray part of it at least. Hey Katrina, how's it going? Happy Friday. It's 
everybody get their TBCs for October done? Since we are now officially in October. I know y'all Australians are already on October 2nd. I'm hoping the future is looking good. But we're still on the 1st over here. Nice. I did mine, uh, was it yesterday? I think I did mine yesterday. <laughs> nice, Jamie. I got way too many books on my TBC this month. Because, of course, I, I dragged out almost everything. Not everything, everything, but almost everything Halloween-y. And that wasn't even including the PDFs. Oh, me, it's going to be a busy month. I'm thinking maybe Monday we'll start on um, a Halloween -y page, maybe. And I re really wanted to start the community body color um, on stream, probably. So I might do that Monday, I'm not sure, but I'd like to start it early, because y'all know me. And then I'll probably just finish this one on my own, because I do see it's going to take me a while. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the beauty of the TBC, though, that you can always, you know, it's just there in case you're stuck and, and stopped and don't know what to do. It's just options to go through if you don't know what else to do. The gold fa faber, faber, gold, uh, however you say it, what Louis said, I've heard that those are supposed to be pretty good. Oh, nice. I love coloring pumpkins. I don't know why. But I love, love coloring pumpkins. It's probably one of my favorite things to color in fall. Oh, oh. What what are what are y'all's favorite things to color in fall? There are so many cool things to color, all the pumpkins and autumn -y colors. Oh, good night, Nina. Thank you so much for stopping in. I hope you get some good rest. Okay, there. What was this? That was gray. Okay, so let's move to light gray. Wait, so finish the whole Joanna Basford Lost Ocean book or a page? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cute and Creepy is definitely on my TBC. And the skull. I'd like to start the skull soon, too. Because I know me, and it's going to take me forever. But yeah, I'm definitely wanting to do at least a couple of Cute and Creepy. I managed to do two last month, which I was very proud of myself. Because I usually do... Well, not I usually don't get to do more than one page in a book per month. Unless it's Daydreams or Twilight Garden or Misfits. Fall Leaves. Oh, nice. Oh, awesome, Nana. Uh, let's see, Gray. So y'all got all your hashtags done and everything. I only have the community buddy color one. I find it so much to keep up with. It's almost too much for me. <laughs> so I figure a community buddy color is plenty for me. Oh. 
But if you do have a hashtag for October, you can put it in the chat if you want to. I know Shannon has one. I'm sure Tammy has one. <gasps> oh, nice. Well, have fun, Tammy. <laughs> eat, eat, uh, eat all the snacks. And um, I love me some fruit, though. Eat two of everything, because, you know, you're eating for me, too, now. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, I've done that. I have done that. I'm awfully forgetful sometimes. See gray. Here and here. Like so. All right. And then we'll throw in some of that olive yellow that we messed up with. Just a little. Like so, and back in with some light gray. Okay, I need to find, I wonder what I used for this up here. <laughs> oh, really need to write these things down. Okay. Ah. Uh, Man, it looks so different when it's laying flat. Um, okay, so I guess we'll do the roof. And I wonder if maybe I should do... Well, no, maybe... Maybe I'll see if I can't right, figure out what I used here. Um... Okay, I know I used tan. I know I used tan a lot. There's a reddish brown. There's a brownish red. I wonder what the difference is. Uh, burnt brick red. There's a beaster, which I'm sure I probably used for the wall. Light brownish red. That's a lot of brownish red. Light reddish brown. Oh. Hmm. And chocolate. I think I used chocolate for the wall, too. Let's just start with the tan and see, see what that does. Let's see, let's get those two tiny ones there. I don't know. This, I mean, it's a... It's a very pretty color, but doesn't look like a like a tan tan. I totally see why people say just watch these. That's uh, tan. Okie dokie, Lisa. Right, so that was the tan. Um, okay. I almost want to go eeny, meeny, miny, mo on these. Let's try the light reddish brown. What? Uh, okay, light reddish brown. Let's get 
some down here. And some here. Let's see, let's get a little bit more on this side. Hey, Marilyn, how's it going? Happy Friday. So all of a sudden, I can remember what day it was. Imagine that. It happens to me a lot. Oi. Yeah, it was a bit of a of a strange order they came in. I put them in the case in a numerical order, but I think I'm gonna have to um, swatch them all. I know gasp. If only Renee would come over and swatch for me. Um, I'm gonna have to swatch them out and put them in color order, like a, a rainbow order, because that's what I usually prefer. Just sit by my window and wait, wait for Renee to come swatch for me. Let's see a little bit more over here. Like so. I could have sworn I used some type of like mahogany or something or other. I can't find a mahogany on here. Um okay, maybe some light reddish no light brownish red because i want that um a little bit redder like so oh whoops Here, uh, let me just brush this off. Oh, wow! Yeah, they're definitely way cheaper um, over there. Uh, burnt Break Red. Let's see what this one does. And we can maybe do some more um, flowers in a little bit. Some more greenery and stuff. Oh, cool. I, I really like Amazon Japan. They have some really great stuff. And also Amazon UK, I think. And Amazon France, I think think uh usually have the best disney books if you if you like disney they have some really great disney coloring books oh i just got it in the leaf there whoops see and i missed all these i colored them over on this side and then i forgot about them on the other side So I need my eraser because I just made a boo-boo. Yes, they got such great stuff. I mean, Amazon US and, you know, have great stuff too. It just seems greater when it's from Amazon Japan because it's 
stuff we can't get here. See, now I don't remember what I used again. Goodness me. Scatterbrained? Yes. Absolutely. Let's see. Uh, this is just some tan. I'm just co um, coloring these little, little doodads here. Um... There and there. I think that's good. And then burnt black red again. Doo -doo. Okay, there and then tan. So y'all pick out your Harry Potter pages yet? Because there is the Harry Potter a thon coming up in a few weeks. And I have not picked my page. I never do. <laughs> I'm horrible at picking my page. I really am. Uh, I usually take forever. And um well, let's go over with this nude here. I probably won't pick my page until the day before because I will change my mind a hundred times if I pick it now. I think it's safer for me to just not pick until the day before. That's usually what happens to me. Okay, like so. It looks so weird, but it looks better when I tilt it up a little bit. Here. Let's go in with some tan around here. I'm still reading the Harry Potter books. I usually try to read them around this time of year. Well, around now, and also I like to read them around Christmas because they just feel like uh, like Halloween and Christmas to me. Okay, I need my sharpener. Oh, nice. Um, let's just go around the windows first. Then we'll figure out what to do with the door. Man, coloring houses takes a lot longer than it seems because there's so many teeny tiny little doodads. So you get all the way over here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I am coloring architecture. I am. I always forget how long it takes. Let's see, like so, and then maybe we'll try, because I don't know, that roof up there is not my friend. But let's try this brownish red. Yeah, 
It was. I loved um, Shannon and Brian's stream. So much fun. They are hilarious together. I was so nervous. He was sitting there with a blender. Oh, goodness. I was so nervous. I, I could just see him snap it. But then he didn't. Oh, I think you're my Kenny. I hope so. Let's see, let's pull this up a little bit more. Let's see, get this window here. Up and up. Oh, that would be blah, blah, huh. that would be so cool, Jamie. Goodness. <laughs> Thank you, Renee. She drive me nuts. Like so. Let's get this here. Oh, thank you, Katrina. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. I didn't even notice I was doing it. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. It just comes out. I got so many weird noises that just come out. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to reset. It's like all your words just get all jumbled up and you're like, nope, nope, nope. Let's just start over. Let's see. Reddish brown. Let's try this and see what this does. I think maybe these were the colors I was using. I think it was. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll, well, I'll probably forget again, but um, uh, I'll probably discover it on the next house that these were the colors I was using. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, see, there we go with the noises again. Gosh. So, anybody gotten any cool or cute, even Halloween -y pages from uh, like any PDFs or any books or anything? There are just so many. Oi, almost lost my pencil. If you're holding your pencil so light that it just flops right out of your hand, you need to tighten your grip just a tiny bit. Just a little bit of a pro tip there. Color and chicks. Yes. I love hers. Let's see here. So I'm guessing they're probably starting to come out now so that people have time to actually color them before October is done. Uh, let's see, where's my, where's my tan go? Oh, here it is. Uh, tan. Oh, nice, Renee. I'm going to try to get a couple PDFs done, but I am, well, in general, really, I do focus mostly on books because I just love the physical copies so in, or, or the ability to flip through a book. And I'm sitting here like pretend flipping, which y'all can't see. So I'll just color, <laughs> color away. Um, but yeah, I did start, I did start yesterday. It was you know, I was sitting there and I didn't know what to do. Um, 
So I thought, hey, let me go look at my TBCs. And then I ended up coloring a Mariola Budek um, Halloween PDF. I don't know how that happened. It just, it just kind of did. Um, and it's a really cute one. So I'm hoping to be able to maybe finish that one this weekend. And then I um, I don't even remember when I printed that one, but I printed it on paper. I probably wouldn't really print on anymore. Oh, oh, announcement, announcement. Oh, what's the announcement? Oh, nice, Lisa. Oh, Melissa had her baby boy. Or our baby boy. It's all our baby boy. Oh. oh. I mean, that's good, I think. I don't know very much about birth giving. What do you mean it's not there? Oh, yes. Cool. Okay, good. Sorry, I was sitting here like waiting <laughs> and then I forgot to color um, again. Ah. Okay. Let's do let's uh let's do the uh the windows because we might as well. That way it'll look a little bit more complete up at the top here. So this is just a canary yellow. See, like so. This is a nice yellow, though. Okay, there, and actually, let me just get a little bit of a, a yellow thing going down there. And autumn gold. Oh, I missed a window. Wow. Okay, like so. Ah. Well, hopefully it won't take long now. Tell her we're all anxiously waiting to hear that, you know, mommy and baby are doing good. Let's see here. This was the autumn gold. I can't remember if I said what it was because I'm sitting there thinking about Melissa. <laughs> here and here just I usually don't do a whole lot with the windows I just throw some yellow in them because you know everybody has all their lights on at all times everybody knows this um Don't know what I want to do with this door. I should probably do some gray on it. I do feel like the greeny tint looks a little bit better now that it's with something else. Don't look so weird anymore. 
Uh, so let me go in with the light gray and we'll do um, the, um, oh gosh, the, uh, the concrete. I'm not even going to go for the other word. Let's see here. Like so. Uh, so gray. Go from down here and up and down and up. Let's see here a little bit around the porch light or the uh, well, light. Um, oy, sorry, Jeez, dropping stuff all over the place here. Let's see, maybe a little bit more of this darker gray. So, um, there's my olive yellow. And some more gray. This is just a regular gray. And I think maybe we'll throw in a tiny bit of black. Right up in there. And maybe, maybe a little bit around this door here. Like so. And I think I want to go back in with a light gray. These pencils work so good on this paper. Um, actually, now that I look at it, I want that black back out. And just get a little bit right in here. Like so. Uh, let's get the wood C colors that I lost again. Uh, let's just start with the tan. Because I know I started with that. And then I think maybe a blue door for this one. I think the blue would go pretty good with the greeny, well, greenish color. Okay, so reddish brown, and let's try the light brownish red first. Hi, Carol. How's it going? Let's see, like so, and the... Reddish brown, maybe. And some tan. Uh, I need my brush. And let's find some, uh, let's see, what is this? No. Trying to find like a, well, something or other. Um, greenish gray. Let's try, yeah, let's try this. I think I want the greenish gray for the lamp.
I'm going to probably throw some black in. Um, some black in just in the very darkest area. Shade and fade. And back in with the greenish gray. Like so. And I'll probably throw a, uh, a little bit of gel pen on there too. Um... Welcome back, Alex. Okay, so a blue door. So maybe some peacock blue. Okay, so peacock blue for our base. Like so. over a couple of times oh cool what are you going to call her is anybody else coloring let's see this is some cyan blue it's number 088 because I don't totally know how to say that word This is a very nice blue. Let's see. Let's get maybe a little bit right down here. There, and then maybe, <clears throat> oh, nice, sounds good. I also have to get going on them pink pages. I haven't done one in a while now. I'd like to get one done this weekend, but I don't know if I will be able to. I'm hoping. Let's see. Um, no, I don't want ultramarine. What are you? Navy blue. Let's try some navy blue. It looks cooler. Aw. You have a thing. That's so cool. A Tanya thing. Okay, like so. Oh, nice. You have some pink wine. I'll have pink lemonade. Um, let's see. Let's just get the gel pen out. And I'm going to put a little bit on the lamp. And I'm going to put on this light bulb here. Um, I think that is it, actually. And then I have to do the bricks because I almost forgot. Where, where's my oh yeah. okay? Um, tan. This is a great color. This may actually um, uh, be my favorite. I, I changed my mind, Jamie. I know it was like an hour ago, but I changed my mind. I think tan is my favorite color. I know. I dropped the pink. But this one is... I've used it, I think, on everything on this page. I do. I love me some good Jade Summer books. I mean, I know my name's not Kenny. <laughs> I'm just button in. Uh, let me see. Let's try some brownish red. Let's get a little bit on each of these. I wonder what it would be like to do a portrait with these pencils. 
Maybe we'll try that next time. We'll use these pencils. We'll try a portrait. Hey, Gail. Good morning. How's it going? Oh, cool. They do. They do have a couple of, of uh, architecture books. They also have an interior designs, I think, and some uh, different type ones they have I, they have so many books um i think i have about maybe 30 of their books i have quite a few i really like their grayscale books i like to use um marker and pencil in there Um, okay, let's go in with some burnt brick red. Let's see here. Do you all have any favorite Halloween-y movies? I, I don't think I do. I don't know. Uh, I like House of Wax. I don't know if that is classified as a halloween -y movie. I, I haven't actually... I mean, I've seen quite a few scary movies, but I've forgotten what they're called. And also, I'm not a very good scary movie watcher. I love watching them, but uh, I scream, like, a lot. Like, last time my my throat was sore for two days um mary finds it very entertaining though Let's see let's go on with some nude and that's the pencil name by the way i'm not being pervy Like so. Oh, house is done. The new Halloween one. I don't know if I've ever seen a Halloween movie, like, you know, one of the Halloween movies. How many are there? Like, are there a lot? I mean, I remember that they coming out when I was younger. I was supposed to go watch one, but then I didn't. I don't remember what happened. <laughs> oh, thank you, Katrina. Great pumpkin patch. What is that? Oh, 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 tell me about that one. What's that? I need I need Halloween movie advice. Uh okay, so I'm gonna go in with some brilliant green and we'll do a couple of these uh floppy um things. And we'll do a couple of those. I think maybe we'll do a bug, maybe a gem. And I'll try to cover a little bit of everything because um, come Monday, I'd like to start on my halloween -y TBC. <sighs> I am not good at doing scary either. I have to admit. I, I like, I mean, well, I don't know. It's like a love-hate thing. It's like, um, I'll watch them, but I, I'm not a good scary movie watcher. And I'm usually lucky. I, I usually don't have nightmares. I mean, I've had a, a lot of nightmares over, over the years, but I usually don't get nightmares from movies I watch. Um... I've never really been a good sleeper. Like, I have a hard time going to sleep. And I'll lay there and, you know, I'll think that uh, if I've seen a scary movie, I'll be scared up until I fall asleep. But then once I'm out, I'm out. And I never really dream about movies. You know, Shannon's dreams are like little movies on their own. See, this is the bottle green again. 
I'm just kind of using the same colors. I haven't really used many new colors. Pretty much just using what's already on here, except the blues. Because they were, I haven't used blue before. So, but except for the blues, I've used the same colors as I did last time. Trying to keep a somewhat limited ish palette. Although I do want it to be colorful. So, I may do some different type of flowers. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, Lisa. What? <laughs> I, you know, I've never really seen a black and white movie. <laughs> that was, uh, um, I don't think, the closest thing I've, se I've, I've been to, to watching a black and white movie was um, The Wizard of Oz. I don't know, I've never seen Coco. I've heard it's very sad. Um, and I, I'm, I don't, I have to say, I've never been able to make it through a nightmare before Christmas. I'm pretty sure that's a Halloween movie, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but woof, yeah, The Wizard of Oz, that was, that was rough. I went and I seriously said, yelled at Mary out loud, there is no color. And I had one of them scream faces. It was, she busted out laughing at me. I think I want to do a bug. Welcome back, Louise. Did you get the chicken? Oh, here's the maroon. I was looking for that. Metallic ochre. Huh. But I watched it twice. I watched it twice. The second time was better. Uh, for you guys who have the colors, how are the metallics in this set? Because I do see that there's a lot of metallics. And I'm thinking about maybe using some of them for the bugs. I usually don't use the metallics. So that's why I'm asking. Uh, let's maybe move that up a little so we can actually see the bugs. Sorry, Shannon. I tried. I tried and tried and tried. See, there's a metallic teal and there's a metallic ochre, metallic pink. Oh, hello. Come here, love. Metallic teal, metallic grass green. All right, let's just try them out. Let's get a few light green. Huh, hello. Lead gray. Where were you when I was looking for you? I know, they really are. They really are in a terrible, terrible order. Oh, sorry. I know that must be loud. Let's try some... Um, let's go with the metallic pink. I know, I'm sorry, I can't help it. It just comes out, all the pink. The bad seed. Oh, is that scary? It sounds scary. You just watch them bad boys, Alex. And then you can come over to my house and swatch mine. Mary will feed you, and we have a pool. I know, I'm so bad. I'm trying to lure people to my house. Metallic pink, and let's see how this goes. Oh, I'm a little nervous. I never used the metallics. Let's see. Oh, that's not bad. I like that. will have pretty bright bugs. Let's 
second. Does that even pick up? Sure. Of course. What do you mean it's not in color? Let's see here and here. There's kind of, I wonder if there's some metallic red I can blend this with, because this is, not showing up very well. Um, okay, bright pink, bright red, orange red. Um, metallic red. Let's try that. Yes. See, okay, so this is the metallic red, and let's see what it looks like with this on top of it. See here. Okay. Uh, well, it is kind of sort of showing up. <laughs> right? Uh, metallic pink again. Gonna go over this a little and maybe we'll throw in some, no, not teal. Let's see if there's some metallic blue we can use. Kind of um, aerial green, that looks blue to me. At least it tipped up. Uh, ah, blue. Um, sorry, I'm looking for a spell. Oh, metallic blue. Here we go. These metallics are pretty opaque. I mean, I'm getting it all in those little spots there, but that's okay because I'll just um. I'll probably cover them in black. Okay, let me see. I think it shows up better if I actually twirl my page around a little bit. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, Louise. That tends to happen. See, like so, and then metallic pink again. I think it's getting a little flashed out because of the metallic -y bit. Like so. And black. Uh, I think they're wax, but I am not 100% sure. I'm 
I think Shannon knows. Shannon usually does. Let's just get this here and this here. And this. And let's get the little legs. <laughs> nice. Aw. Wait, your dog rings a bell when she wants to go out? Oh. <gasps> Nice. Oh, I should get Cherry a bell. Well, she probably wouldn't know how to ring it. She's cute, but she's not the brightest dog. But she's adorable. Let's see here. Butter. Yes, they are very buttery, but butter, buttery, butter you know. Let's just get these ones here, and I think I'm gonna throw in some white gel pen here because if not, it's just all gonna kind of run in together. And there's more color on there than it looks like. Nice. <gasps> Oh, you got the smart doggy. Let's just get some here and here. Let's get a little bit on her little, on her, because this is a girl bug. Let's see here. Nice. Shannon, does yours ring bells? Okay. Oh, no wonder it was a little weird. It was lying on top of a pencil. Oof, man, y'all should see my desk. There's literally pencils everywhere. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I was just asking. <laughs> oh, now that I think about it, probably a bad idea, huh? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. Um, maybe we'll do a. Maybe we'll do a blue flower. How about that? Maybe we'll use the same blues as this door here. So maybe uh, peacock blue. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. I forgot to use my finger there. Yeah. <laughs> that might be a bit much. <laughs> huh. I don't think I could train Cherry to do to do the bell. She'd be probably be scared of it. She's scared of everything. She's a big chicken. But she's so cute though. Sorry, if y'all hear that, that's mama sneezing. Bless you. Sorry. Just in case she can hear me. Uh, this is the cyan blue again. I'm so sorry if I just yelled in your ears there. Sorry. I always poke my head out and yell bless you out the door. All right, like so, and then I think I liked the navy blue. Oh, <gasps> huh, nice. <laughs> uh, Cherry's not really a barker either. 
she just kind of hangs out and she's very very clingy and very needy she has to be on somebody's lap at all times hey sarah how's it going happy friday cyan blue again And I think I'm going to put a little bit right here by this leaf. Uh, oh, I still need this. Goodness me, I forgot this last petal. Like so. <laughs> and the... Um, Peacock blue again. Usually I thought peacock blue was, was darker. I could be wrong. Let's see, like so. And I think I might, might take a white to this and just blend it with a white. And get those edges a little bit um, lighter. Oh, nice, Sarah. Uh, so white. Man, she's still going strong there in the living room with them sneezes. Okay, I think I definitely like that better. And let's get the... The canary yellow. Just get all these little um, pollen uh, thingamajigs colored. Uh, bright orange yellow. I'm skipping the um, autumn gold or, yeah, autumn gold. I'm skipping that one. And let's get some. Where did it go? Where'd my ochre go? My oh, light ochre here. Let's see here. Okay, like so. I think I think we have time for uh, another flower. Maybe we'll do that gem down there this one here uh i don't know what color gem i want maybe we'll do maybe we'll do a red gem because it would look really good with the um green leaves okay so orange red and i got that orange red here Okay, that's a pretty good red. Hey, uh, Shannon, have you checked out that orange red in the colors? Is that a red red? See, now we got the red. It's a little bit darker. Let's see, fresh red. Mm, yes, and then I do need something really dark. Maybe, uh, maybe the light brownish red. No. Uh, where? Where? I had a burnt brick red. What is that? Maybe this one. We'll we'll try. There's not a whole lot of room. There's not a whole lot of wiggle room in that in those gems. So we shall. Well, yeah, I know, but I meant is it is that is is a blah 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 blah. blah. Are any of these reds here a red red? Sorry, I'm moving my stuff around again. Any of these reds a red red for you? I know you like your red reds. Okay, so let me go in with the orange red. And I'm going to base everything with it. 
then we'll go in with white after. I'm not the best with gems, but we'll wing it. Yes, I will definitely try to swatch these um, soon. Um, red. Let's see. How do I want to approach this? Maybe from here. Like so. Kind of just shade and fade in these little bits here. See, this would be a little shaded because of that rope. Let's get in here. Wait, I love puppies. And kittens. And, well, all the animals, really. Let's see here. Let's get that and kind of pull it up. Okay, there. Wow, we very tiny. Uh, fresh red, which is a little bit darker. Sharpen. They do. I was just saying that too. They have quite a few. And I've never really used a whole lot of metallics. So. But they have a lot of pretty ones. Let's see. Like so. Get in here a little. And then we'll go in with a tiny bit of the burnt brick red. Me too, Sarah. Me too. I definitely, definitely prefer dogs or pets in general, really, with, um, yeah. you know, prefer pets over people. here let's get a little bit of that darker color in here Like so. Oh, I don't know if I've seen that yet. I mean, I know I've seen it because I put it up. But, like, uh, I really need to swatch these clearly. Okay, back to the orange red. And let's just kind of go over a little, just very lightly. Do like this gem, though. Like so, brush, brush, and erase that bit right there. Um, 
don't know. Maybe get some little lines here. If I don't like it, I can scrape it off. Yes, that's the good thing about gel pens is that if you don't like it, you can just grab a pencil, like I've had to do that, grab the pencil, like usually my lightest color or whatever it was I was coloring, just scrape it right off once it's dry, of course. But we'll see what this looks like. It's all right. I think I'm going to keep it for now. I'll have to see what it looks like later. Me too. My dog is really small. <laughs> um, well, okay. Well, she's technically a medium-sized dog. I think she's small. She's about 30-ish pounds. Um, you know, it's a tiny little cocker spaniel. She's adorable, though, but uh, I love me some big dogs and chihuahuas. It's either or for me, really. <laughs> so I think uh, they're probably all I'm coloring today. I'll try to finish this on my own uh, and we'll start something Halloween-y. Um, I was thinking, I don't even know what I was thinking um, for... Monday, either maybe a Halloween -y PDF or possibly um, something or other from a TBC. I don't even remember what's on it. I was looking behind me trying to see, but I can't. <laughs> I can't see what's there. Uh, so. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I think Emily is on in about 30 minutes. Yes. Yes. She's definitely like a, a smallish, a small medium, I think. Because I think when we took her to the dog park, um, she had to go with the medium big dogs. <laughs> But anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And I'll see you guys back here on Monday. And have a great weekend, guys. Toodaloo. Hugs and love.